great. Me and him have a very, it's very different from most of what other people have with their horses. Sometimes I feel like I can talk to him. That's nine-year-old Georgia Schnur talking about the bond she shares with Harry, her horse she competed with on Saturday. Like today I told him he has to run. Um, like it's almost like he's nodding his head sometimes. Schnur and Harry barrel raced as part of the third annual First Responders Rodeo in Edmonton. Fans, this is where you come alive. Schnur's father is a police officer and on the board of directors for the event, which brings in paramedics, firemen, and police officers of varying rodeo experience and puts them in the ring to show their skills in shoe dogging. Vermillion, Alberta. Deer wrestling. Deer wrestling. The bulldog is going to slide off. Grab a hold. We get the nose. Breakaway roping and more. Oh, it's, it's unbelievably satisfying and gratifying to be able to have um, the, the major first responder communities come together and interact with the community in an event that is for families and it's for fun and it's, it's not work related and to support two amazing charities. The rodeo's director of communications says the last event in 2019 raised $22,000 for multiple charities. So he's hoping today's event will raise a lot of funds to help children and youth who've been abused as well as support the mental health of first responders. So Zebra Child Protection Center uh, works very closely with EPS. Uh, they have a really amazing program where they uh, provide therapy dogs uh, to children when they have to speak with detectives or testify in court. It's a really awesome thing. Uh, and then our second benefactor charity is Legacy Place Society. So they work with active and veterans as well as first responders and uh, former first responders. An EPS member who competed in breakaway roping talks about the appeal of the first responders rodeo. There's a lot less pressure as if you were to do a regular rodeo network because all, everybody here is amateurs and has a lot less experience uh, doing what we do and it's just putting on a good community event as well for all our co-workers and family and friends. For everyone watching who's not as skilled with horses, Georgia Schnur shares her secret. You just love your horse and they'll love you. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.